This video is brought to you by Altium. So far, I have been using different IoT platforms for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling different types of electrical loads. The most popular IoT platforms that I have been using for quite a long time includes Blink Application, Arduino IoT Cloud, UV Dots, ThinkSpeak, and Firebase. Just like all these IoT platforms, you can also use Telegram Messenger as an IoT platform for monitoring sensors and for controlling electrical loads. This is my first video on the Telegram Messenger and I will try my level best to explain each and every detail so that you can easily understand how to get started with the Telegram Messenger. Since this is a getting started tutorial, that's why I decided to start with the most basic sensor which is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. You can use Telegram Messenger with different controller boards which of course I will cover in my upcoming videos. But for now I will start with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Before I am going to share with you the test results, first a few words about the sponsor of this video for helping me purchase the required components and tools. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Altium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. I powered up my Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using a 12V power supply. I have this 7805 voltage regulator which converts 12V into regulated 5V. Next I opened the Telegram Messenger and then I opened the Temp Monitoring Board. You can see my previously implemented commands. I have been testing it for a while and it's working just perfectly. You can request the temperature and humidity data from anywhere in the world. All you need is to write the command or simply click on the command and then wait for a few seconds. The replay time depends on the internet speed. The same way we can request the temperature value. Isn't it cool? You simply create a bot in Telegram Messenger that hardly takes a minute. And then this bot takes care of all the communications. Anyways, you can see it's working just perfectly. Now it's time to explain the circuit diagram and programming of this IoT based project using Telegram Messenger, Node MCU ESP8266 and DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Connect pin number 1 of the DHD11 sensor with the 3.3 volt pin of the Node MCU ESP8266. Connect pin number 2 which is the data pin with the D1 pin of the Node MCU ESP8266. Pin number 3 is not connected. Finally connect pin number 4 of the DHD11 sensor with the ground pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. These are the minimum connections which you can start with. You can use your laptop or computer 
to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. But if you want to practically implement this, then you will need to add an external power supply. I have a very detailed video on this. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's start with the interfacing. Connect the data pin of the DHD11 sensor with the D1 pin of the Node MCU module. Connect the VCC pin with 3.3 volt pin. And finally connect the ground pin of the DHD11 sensor with the ground pin of the Node MCU ESP8266. Our interfacing is completed. Now we will start setting up the Arduino IDE. If this is your first time using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, then first of all you will need to install the Node MCU board. As you can see the Node MCU board is not installed. To install the Node MCU board, go to my website electronicclinic.com and copy this URL link. Click on the file menu and then click on the preferences. This link is for the STM32 controller board. If this box is empty, then directly paste the link or simply put a comma and then paste the URL link. And then finally click on the OK button. Now go to the tools menu, then to the board and click on the boards manager. Type ESP8266 in the search box. Select the latest version and then click on the install button. This may take several minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Click on the close button when the installation is completed. Again go to the tools menu and then to the board to check if the Node MCU ESP8266 board is installed. As you can see the Node MCU board is installed and now we can move to the next step which is to download the telegram library. This time go to the sketch menu then to the include library and click on the manager libraries. Type telegram in the search box and wait for a few seconds. Scroll down and look for the universal telegram board. Select the latest version and click on the install button. This will take a few seconds. Once a library is installed then we will start working on the telegram. As you can see the library is installed. Next we will create a telegram board. For this we will need the telegram app. I have already downloaded telegram app. So let's go ahead and create a telegram board. Open the telegram app. If you can't see board father in the list then you can simply search for it. Click on the board father. Now we'll create a new board. This will interface telegram with the node MCU ESP8266. Next we will choose a name for the board. Let's call it Temp Monitoring. Next we will choose the username. We can select any name but it must end in board. Our board is created. And we can use this token to access the HTTP API. 
We will use this in the Node MCU ESP8266 programming. Here I have this very simple program which sends the temperature and humidity values to the Telegram Messenger. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I edit all the required libraries. The DHT11 sensor data pin is connected with D1. These are the Wi-Fi credentials, the router name and the password. This is the bot token from the Telegram app. I have these two commands, temperature and humidity. So when I will send temperature from the Telegram app, the Node MCU will reply with the temperature value. And when I will send the humidity command, then the Node MCU ESP8266 will reply with the humidity value. For the complete explanation, read my article. I will provide a link in the description. I have already uploaded the program. Let's watch the ESP8266 and Telegram based temperature and humidity monitoring project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.